Hello YouTube, this is a video review of my Bucket Max uh, 6.5 amp uh, lid vacuum that I purchased at Lowe's for 20 bucks. I didn't know it was made by ShopVac until I opened the box and this manual was in there. It's the uh, Series 600BH, the uh, Workshop Assistant Wet Dry Vac. For 20 bucks at Lowe's I figured I'd uh, roll the dice. This is the filter that they give you. It's a paper filter and you take the uh, retaining clamp and you slide it over the uh, inside of the housing. You do get a foam filter for uh, wet, wet cleanups. What I do is, and you notice I have a uh, beanie hat over a cartridge filter. And this hat provides an extra layer of filtration to keep the filter clean and also uh, protect the motor from any dust and debris. Now, I don't think that this, uh, this vacuum now is HEPA certified, but I can tell you that this hat does add an extra layer of filtration and does a nice job. And when you uh, need to clean out the filter, you just take the hat off, you shake it out, and you'll be surprised uh, how much uh, gook comes out of here. So you just clamp it onto the top of any five gallon bucket. The um, handles come up and lock into place. You have a nice portable lightweight vacuum. The hose they give you is this piece that goes into the uh, inlet. It's about four feet long and about one and a quarter inches in diameter. I can tell you that this hose is very restrictive. This fitting has a two inch opening here and only a one inch opening here and it's on a right angle. So there is a lot of air that gets restricted. So I noticed the vacuum doesn't operate uh, at its maximum ability with this piece on here. You can only imagine how much air is getting restricted. So what I did, went to Home Depot, bought the uh, one and seven eighths uh, hose kit. And once you know that it fits right in there, no modifications necessary. And this hose, because there's no restrictive bend, like with this piece, gives you a lot more vacuuming capability. It's pretty much night and day. I'll turn it on, I'll show you. This uh, vacuum wouldn't be able to lift that little cardboard box even with that uh, one and a quarter inch hose. So I'm not saying this is the most powerful shot vac on the market. It certainly isn't. But uh, I discovered that if you can make it breathe a little easier, it's definitely a nice uh, lightweight but powerful vacuum to have around the house, around the garage. Obviously, there's people who need something bigger because they're contractors, drywallers, etc. Uh, the good thing about this vacuum is you can replace the, uh, the housing for $3. Any five-gallon bucket will work. If you have to crawl into a tight area like a crawl space, uh, an attic where there's very little clearance and you can't get a large shot vac in there, this will suffice. If you're trying to vacuuming out uh, a van and you need to bring the vacuum inside, say an extended uh, passenger van, you can place this anywhere inside and you'll be able to reach all the spots you need to vacuum. So all in all for 20 bucks at Lowe's, I thought it was a great value. 
once again uh, ditch this fitting right here and opt for the uh, 1 and 7 8 diameter hose you will notice a much better vacuuming performance when you put it in there and uh, this this will be great for whatever you need to do and I, I think you would be happy with the performance of this uh, as long as you get this hose and, and maybe invest in the uh, cartridge filter. Any questions or comments leave them below. Thank you for watching.